This is the Inatech USB 3.0 2 port uh, PCIe 1X expansion uh, card. It's a card to expand the uh, ports on the back of your computer to have two USB 3.0 connections. Uh, there's also a USB 3 header on it for putting um, USB 3 ports out if you've got a uh, USB um, expansion slot on the front of your computer. A lot of computers have those. That way you can run a USB 3 cable to those slots as well and have USB 3 um, up front. Now, this, uh, this particular PCIe card comes with a couple of face plates you can interchange in case you've got a, uh, a short expansion slot on the back of your computer. You don't have a full length case maybe. Maybe you're using a micro ATX case or something. Whatever the need, uh, you just take these two screws out replace the faceplate with these and be able to fit this into a smaller expansion slot if you need to on the back of your computer. Um, it is a PCIe 1X connector so you need to make sure your computer has an open PCIe uh, expansion slot in it. You can put 1X connectors in larger slots but uh, ideally you would place it into a available 1X connector on your motherboard. Uh, I'm going to show you the accessories that come with this real quick. There's not a lot to it. I showed you the other faceplate already. It does come with two power splitters. Um, the first one's a serial ATA splitter. You plug in your power supply uh, serial ATA connection into this um, male adapter here. Get it to focus. There you go. Um, and then it'll split it off into two serial ATA female power connectors. So that way you can power this hub, which isn't required, but if you've got any kind of devices drawing power off your USB, uh, they're not just passive USB devices, but you know you want to charge your phone, tablet, um, even using your mouse, um, whatever, you're probably going to want to connect this if you have any way of doing it. And there's really no reason not to with these splitters. So this way you've still got one open serial ATA uh, power connection available just like you would have had before and it splits it off so you can power this card at the same time. There's also one for older PSUs or just PSUs that still have 4-pin Molex connectors on it. Uh, kind of interestingly uh, you'll plug this side into your power supply and then it puts a serial ATA power into this side um, but instead of coming back out with a female 4-pin Molex connector it comes back out with another serial ATA connector so if you need to split a Molex connection into a couple of serial ATA power connections, then you can always just use this somewhere else in your system too. So it comes with both of those. And then we just have the, uh, the couple of screws to um, mount the expansion uh, card face into the back of your case if you, uh, if you need them. The case I'm going to be using is a toolless, so they'll just snap in. Um, there's also just a little comment card. We'd love to hear from you. Um, encouraging you to contact Inatech with any questions. Also encouraging you um, to uh, leave a review on Amazon, written or video. They do not offer any kind of compensation or any uh, incentive to leave a review, which, uh, which I like. I don't like it when, when companies pander uh, to the reviewers and try to get you to review things maybe unfairly by offering you discounts or money or whatnot. So there's none of that going on here. And it takes a good stand-up company. And then we just got a driver CD. Um, you may or may not need the drivers on this. I always recommend going back to the website anyway, uh, unless you just absolutely have to use the CD because you'll almost always find newer versions of the driver on the website, or at the very least, you'll find the very newest version of the driver. So that is the Inatech uh, two port USB uh, 3.0 PCIe expansion card. I'm going to do a quick rundown and show you how to install this in a Dell XPS tower. I've got a tower here that doesn't have USB 3 that I would really like to have USB 3 in. So we're going to give you a quick rundown of how you do that on my system, and hopefully that will help you if you have any questions on your own system. What we've got here is a Dell XPS 9100 system. Uh, it's an older system. I've had it for a few years now. And uh, I've gone ahead and taken a couple of screws out of the back, taken the side of the case off. Now what we've got here, as you can see, I've got a couple of expansion ports open. There's already a wireless card in one of the 1X PCIe slots, which is right here. Then I've got another 1X slot available here. Then I have an 8X slot here. 
Now this particular system is toolless, so all I have to do is grab these two tabs and swing that out. A lot of systems won't have this little uh, security tab here to hold all your face plates in place. You'll actually have an individual screw that goes and holds each of them. Um, so really that's going to differ just depending on your system. Obviously it's nice when you don't have the tools. So we're going to go ahead and pull this little face plate out. That'll give us an open expansion port. And then this right here Let's turn it so we can see it a little better. It's just going to plug right in. Oops, you know what? I took out the wrong expansion. But that's alright. Because I want to show you both ports anyway. So I'll go ahead and show you um, this 8x port up here. You can see that even though it's big, with PCIe, you can still fit a 1x card into an 8x port. That'll work. Um, you're not going to get any faster speeds from it. You're still only going to use one lane of the PCI Express um, to actually use with the USB 3 card. But if you don't have any open 1X ports or you don't even have any 1X ports, you can always go up to a higher port. You can't go from higher to lower just in case you're ever looking at any other PCIe expansion card and thinking, oh, I got a 4X card and a 1X open port. Will that work? Nope, it won't. But 1X to 4X, 8X, 16X, yep, you can do that. So we're going to go ahead and plug it in here. It's literally that easy. Um, you can see the cards facing upside down as far as all the, uh, all the circuit board uh, stuff on it. Um, so... You won't have anything up top here blocking another card. That's standard. You've got your little USB 3 uh, expansion here for any kind of front USB port you have on a front panel device. And then we also have our serial ATA connector. I know it's kind of hard to see with the lighting. Um, but there's your serial, serial ATA connector, uh, power connector back there. Um, and what you can do is you can either use the... Whoops. Use the power expansion cable and Y off of an existing connector. Oops, sorry about that. Which is what we're going to do here. We'll pull back a little. So, we can take an existing connector, plug it in on this. I'm just going to go this way. I'll plug right in there. And now and plug this into our USB 3 expansion card. And now that card is going to be powered um, from the system power supply. It's going to give you better power output for anything you need to charge. If you don't want to do that, you can run it just like that if you want. Try your luck. Or, if you don't want to clutter your system up with any more cables than necessary, if you've got enough room, you can just take one of these serial ATA connectors all the way over to it. I do not have enough room on this cable, so that's not an option for me. But um, there's no reason you have to use this Y adapter. Um, it's however you want to do it. Now, once we've got it plugged in and in place, on this particular system, I'm going to replace this faceplate. So I want to try to keep as much dust as possible out of my system. And here, it's just as easy as uh, putting this back in place and securing all my faceplates again. I say just as easy. Dell doesn't make it super easy, but it's still better than messing with a bunch of little screws. All right, and oops, still didn't get it. I'll get that later. So put that back in, secure this back like you ought to, and once you're all done, you will have a couple of new USB 3 ports coming out the back of your computer. So. Easy peasy, you can see, aside from the long-winded explanation, the change itself literally takes just a couple minutes. Uh, it's incredibly easy to do, um, and it's a great way to add some extra speed to your system, especially with so many USB 3 devices coming out on the market now, um, particularly hard drives and flash drives. So that is your review of the Inatech USB 3.0 two-port PCIe expansion slot.